and happy Good Friday. Good Friday is good because Jesus is good. And his cross is God's living gift of forgiveness. So I have a couple key words for us today and some sign language to go with us. The first one is sin. You point your two fingers and make a circle. This is sin. The next one is Jesus. You touch the middle of your palm. You can say forgive. And the last one is cross. You make a C with your hand, go to the bottom, pull it over, and pull it across. We have sin, Jesus, forgive, and cross. Forgiveness. If you forgive others of their sin, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Matthew 6, verse 14. Our Father, who are in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God forgives us completely. When God forgives us, he casts our sins far, far away. He doesn't hold our sins against us, and he doesn't hold a grudge. He throws our sins out so far away that they can't affect us any longer. So if you look inside my container, you will see some speckles of black. This black represents the sin that we as humans have. But our God sent his son, Jesus, to cast those sins far away, just like this. Did you see that? It's pretty amazing that he loved us so much that he sent his son for our sins. God casts our sins far away. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sin from us. Psalms 103 verse 12. But what is sin? We all sin and God knows that we're going to sin. Even when we try to always obey God, we make mistakes, and that's why he sent his son, Jesus. So we need Jesus because we sin, and we do the wrong things. When we think and do the wrong things, we, it gets in between us and God. Some of those things are like saying unkind things to our friends, when we hurt other people, when we don't listen to our parents or our teachers, when we lie or do other hurtful things, it covers us and sin is in the way. But Jesus washes away our sin. This is Jesus and Jesus was on the cross to wash away the sin that we had as humans because he knows we're going to sin even when we try really hard not to we still make mistakes when jesus died for our sins he took our punishment for us his forgiveness removes all the wrong things that we do god took our sins upon himself he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Okay, let's pray together. Put your hands together and close your eyes. Thank you, God, for loving me so much that you sent Jesus to take all my sin because you want me to live forever with you. Amen. Okay, here is your Good 
Friday challenge. Your challenge is to share the good news that Jesus took our sin with him to the cross. Hmm. If you accept this challenge, shout really loud, challenge accepted. Very good, friends. Now, that's it for our story about Good Friday. But I'm going to give you a sneak peek as to what comes next. Jesus died on the cross, but on day three, Jesus rose again. Count one, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me. But on day three, Jesus rose again. Do it with me. Count one, two, three. Jesus is alive. <laughs>